the stop sign. Turn right onto West Seven Mile Road. These stands. The approval rating of Adam. Well, I think the approval rating is going to be uh, no in the majority. In, in three quarters of a mile, that turn that right onto Telegraph Road. I think that number the no's will have... It's got to be the high still. I mean, because people just, they've, they've seen enough. Uh, I'm going to say it's like 92% saying no. Really? Yeah. Okay. As it stands right now, yes, I approve 46 0.7%. What? No, I do not approve 53.3%. Well, they all Vila fans out there right now. <laughs> okay, this is really tough to answer because it's basically yes or no, right? There's, yeah. You want to caveat the hell out of this. You want to say, well... I don't even think I have to caveat it. You don't approve? No. Okay, I, I do approve. I do approve of the job. Well, and, and I just, I, I mean, I'm looking at the totality of it. And, and, and oh, there's see, a lot to complain about. Yeah, there is a lot to and complain that's about. that's where I'm getting to is that I think that there's, like, should they, do I think the Tigers need to look for a new GM? Yes, right. I do. Um, and, and are there some nice things you're doing this year? Yes. I think the best thing Al Avila has done so far is sign A.J. Hinch to be the manager. I think it's the best thing he's done, and that was met with a lot of criticism, but I'm one of those guys that stood up for it. You're, you're good with that. I think the best thing about it done is steal the kill the dude from the Twins. That's another great one, yeah. Uh, you know, the, 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 I don't know how much credit he gets for bringing on Chris Fetter, how much credit Chris Fetter gets for the repurposing of Kyle Funkhauser, how much Chris Fetter, yeah, how much credit he gets for Manning, Scooble, and Mize. I mean, the Manning thing's real interesting because this is a guy who spent a good portion of this season the light. Use struggling the right two with AAA. To turn Comes right north, he's got two good starts. Turn. Now, he had had two good starts in Toledo before he got called up. Generally, you need more. I mean, he was only here because of injury. Let's face it. That's it. Um, but since he's gotten up here, you know, that feels like it might be a Fetter special, right? I mean, it might be because of him. Now, I didn't ask, do they need to look for a new GM? We asked, do you approve? And we're sitting here talking about a team that we think might be able to get into the playoff chase next year. That would hold for a more than reasonable timeline for a team in a rebuild. Like, a timeline for a team in a rebuild... I think next year is kind of even early to be getting in a playoff chase and to be talking about the wild card. But, you know, a lot of it has to do with Mize and Scooble and what they have shown. Uh, and additionally, you know, the, the, the double A, success of the bats at double A is incredibly encouraging. And yet it's also can be wildly misleading. It really can because I mean, we just have to cite the Erie Five and, you know, what was Munson going to do? What was Andres Torres going to do? You know, and that, they didn't do much when they got it. 4 .4 miles. But Keep much right more was expected of Torres and Dingo and those guys. Port well, Huron. maybe not Munson. Munson was a first-round pick, wasn't he? Yes. Yeah. Anyway, 248 uh, 93 Do you approve of the job that Al Avila is doing? Over 735 votes right now. It's changed a little bit. The yes has 46% on the nose. And the no has 54%. James Alabama tweets us, he's taken a shellacking the last four or five years. But yes, things are looking better. And the marginal hire looks like, oh, sorry, the managerial hire looks like it'll be great for getting the most out of this roster. Uh, from Will I Am on Twitter, his overall job absolutely not. School and Badu are his only, quote, fines. There still is not a big league shortstop in the system. Mize, Torque, and Green were top three picks. He gets no credit for that in my book. Almost five years later, his fire sale trades brought next to nothing in return. Almost five years later, yeah. I, I'm, I'm not going to sit here and, and, and try and tell you otherwise. Their trades, I mean, it's ironic, Gator, because throughout the bulk of the purge, people kept asking, why do they keep trading for shortstop? And what do they not have right now? They don't have a shortstop. Now, have they, some of those guys... They don't repurpose other positions. Yep. But, no, they don't really have an answer at shortstop. I don't hold, and, and, and maybe this is a, a flaw of mine, or maybe it's just realistic, but I don't hold a GM up to a standard of perfect. I think they're all going to have swings and misses. It's just, are you getting the job done? I can't believe, Gator, that I think, I think it's realistic talk to talk about trying to compete for a class spot next year. Free agent signing in the field.
brought maybe two position players and a veteran arm? Look, it, it could very well be um, legitimate talk at, at that point. And I, I think there are there are ways to, to make this and, and craft this team and make them into a contending team. Is it craft? Craft? This craft, team? yes. That's not what I thought you said. I didn't say it would play for late. Um, I, to craft this team into being a contending team, to me, you got to start with getting a free agent shortstop. You got to you got to get one of those guys, and from there, you're, you've got a good foundation. I love what they have in the outfield. You think about it, next year, their outfield could have Daz Cameron, Akil Badu, Riley Green, and Derek Hill if Derek Hill can stay healthy, or Jacob Robson if he gets a, ch a chance. That's five outfielders there. The worst defensive outfield in the bunch is Akil Badu. And he's not bad defensively. <laughs> he doesn't have a good arm, uh, but he gets to fly balls that normally people don't get to because he's got tremendous speed. I mean, that's, that's an exciting outfield to look at. It also has upside offensively. I mean, Riley Green was a first-round pick for a reason. I mean, we've already seen Akil Badu doing what he can uh, what he can do here. Daz Cameron is, is showing some flashes. It's way too early before you're going to lock in on Daz Cameron being there. But just saying, just saying that these guys look like that could be a really exciting outfield. You get a, a, a not only competent fielding shortstop, but one of the better fielding shortstops. You like it. You've got, already got a catching uh, player. You already got a, a catcher in, in Jake Rogers, who's good defensively. He's, he's showing this year was a quite a bounce back year from what we saw prior to, uh, with Jake Rogers in his uh, start to his major league career. He's already much better defensively than what he was. He's what he was advertised as. Well, is Dylan Dingler going to be that good defensively? I have no idea if he's even going to be the guy moving forward. But I like what they have. They don't have a defense up the middle. I like it. Second base? Who's going to be the second baseman? Not sure. I mean, that, that's another another situation. Is Isaac Paredes, is he going to, you know, get a stranglehold on that position down the road? I don't know. All the people that are listing all of his failures, well, all right. But then ask yourself this. Do you think they can compete for a playoff spot? And if you do, isn't that kind of ahead of schedule? Or at least right on schedule? This is a, this is a full scale week. And if, it, it, I mean, if, if they're on schedule to compete for a playoff spot, and I think it's realistic. Maybe it's not. I don't know. I just, I think the totality of the work, I would say I approve. Because I did not think we'd be talking about this. And maybe we won't be, but it sure feels like they are, they're, they're in the hole. Not, they're not stepping to the plate to, to swing for a playoff spot. And I don't even think they're on deck, but I do think they're in the hole. And it's something that can be accomplished next year. 248 now 97, 97, 97 on the ticket. Shopping instantly searches for available coupon codes and automatically applies them at checkout. Wait, instantly? It's called shopping smart, not hard. Download Capital One Shopping to your computer for free and let it do the work for you. Don't mind if I fondue. Ah, <laughs> that's kind of cheesy. Capital One Shopping is kind of genius. Savings and available coupons vary. You work hard and you train hard, and let's face it, sometimes it hurts. But it doesn't have to be that way. Stick it to the pain with the Tiger Balm Pain Relieving Patch. Convenient 
to apply Hydrogel technology since Tiger Bomb's proven pain relief the right to your AC paint. It's fast, safe, and long lasting. Made from a blend of herbal ingredients, Tiger Bomb is trusted pain relief for everyone, from world class athletes to weekend warriors. Roar back with Tiger Bomb. It works where it hurts. Available at stores everywhere. Dealing with adversity and finding ways to unify and overcome it will always be part of our future. The new season of Hope Through History, a documentary podcast presentation for C-13 Originals, in association with the History Channel, written and narrated by me, John Meacham, features moments in our nation's past where we faced challenges as a country and as a world. Listen and follow season two of Hope Through History, available now wherever you get your podcasts. Hi, I'm David Hall from Hall Financial. And we've created a very unique five-star process that allows the majority of our refinance loans to close in 10 business days or less without the need to break six miles. Take exit 1920. Thank you. 
that's why I hate the end of the approaching of their own <laughs> stars. Now they can trade a player. It's a free agent <laughs> play. <laughs> <laughs> like they can trade a player. So that they can do it. Trade them right right they keep the play. Go. They put a competitive team on the field. They <laughs> keep playing. You know those guys, you know what the Johnson Scopes of the world do and the Robbie Grossman's of the world do? They keep the time that you're having to call up prospects before they're ready. They're so Yes, they are, they're killing time. And then those guys get traded. You went. And you hope to get something in return. Um, but they spend it. I'm just sorry. But because both of those players, they're good players. They're yeah, great players. They're good players. They're good players who can help other teams. They can start elsewhere. But for this team, you're a seed holder. And you hope that there's a market for those players. There should be a market for, for those players. If this offseason they go bargain basement again, I will be disappointed. Yeah, I will too. Well, it's time to, it's time to, to add somebody that's good. <laughs> Gary's, Gary had a long list of reasons of why he doesn't like Al Beal, and that, that's fine. I, and I would probably agree with most of it. The, the part where he said he, he's, he, he's cheap, he's not spending the money, I think that's an issue from ownership. You know, when, when the Tigers blew things up, uh, when they didn't win the World Series and then they didn't get back to the ALCS and, they, and that was as far as we're going to go and, and Max Scherzer wasn't coming back and all that and they had already given the money to, to Cabrera, you knew things were going to have to change in a hurry. And Avila took over as GM in 2015. Not an easy thing to do to trade away every player that every fan loves. It's not easy to do that. And you had to do that because it was too much money and they just they needed to figure it out. I don't think he, he he was forced to do things on the cheap in terms of free agents he signed the last several years. Of course they've been cheap because they've been trying to lower the payroll ever since. Now, you want to complain about the return that they got for Verlaine, for J.D. Martinez, for Justin Upton, for any of those, for David Price, for any of the guys they traded? I'm not going to argue with them. And Nick Castellanos and, and, and others. It does, I think it's all valid. It's all very valid. And... Um, and I was just saying to Doug off the air, you know, it's amazing. They had Nick, Nick Castellanos and J.D. Martinez, two guys that can just flat out hit, flat out hit. In two miles, and they got, take they exit 19 toward Cousins Avenue and 10 miles. 3997 Paul's in Rochester and next up, Paul. Hey, guys, thank you for taking my call. Sure. Uh, I just want to say that I also greatly disapprove of Apple. Uh, job to see him. I feel the Tigers step more so with what Hicks has done, which I do give Outlet credit for that. Um, but I feel Outlet's group has the confidence that what he does is obvious where there's absolutely no excuse not to get uh, a Trevor Story or Corey Seager or uh, could have that as sort of like short second. And at that second base or some sort of Carlos Correa, yeah. yeah. job with the picks that they've had recently okay, with the top picks I think that they've got it looks like they could have a core of players and when you're picking at the top of the, the draft you should but that hasn't always been the case the Tigers that were awful teams before they pick top 10 often 
and what do they have to show for? It? I mean, the Tigers organization went how many years? At the next stop sign, turn 20, left. 25 years between having a real decent, you know, player. Travis Fryman was about it. Yeah. You know, Bobby Higginson, really about it in a, in a span from, you know, 1980 through 2000 and whatever. They only had a, a, literally a handful of guys that, that made it from the minor league system. And they I, weren't lighting the world on fire after 87. They were still purging players, their homegrown talent in 2019. So then you have the shortened 2020 season. And now here we are in 2021. And are they a year away from at the stop sign? In Turn left contention. onto East Windward Heights Boulevard. I know that some people are, are looking down at Twitch and some people are saying, they've been rebuilding for 10 years. Well, well I, I think as long as they... The series in, what, 20, 2012? Yeah. And then they went back to the ALCS in 2013. And they had a really competitive team after that. I mean, they haven't been rebuilding for that long. No, but I, I feel like it, that the real rebuild didn't half a mile. start. Turn right onto they didn't really start and hope to see dividends until they stop purging players, which was 2019. But if you, I mean, that's I gotta agree with you on that on that definition. Like, when do you, when does the rebuild start? The, the rebuild starts when you stop selling off the assets and you are actually moving forward. I, I feel like they hit rock bottom because they're no longer the worst team in baseball. They're not. No, they're not a good baseball team. They're playing like a, a, an above average baseball team right now over the last two months, but they're still not. They're not a good baseball team. It's gonna take some time. By the end of the season, we might be very proud of what they've accomplished, but they're not abjectly awful like they were a couple of years ago. And there's there's reason to be intrigued with what's going to happen next. Like, real tangible results are being seen Come at the decided. Major League level. Then turn right uh, onto you can vote, Avenue. comment right now on Twitter. Do you approve of the job Alavila is doing? I think this is probably up about 40%. Now, <laughs> I think it would have been about 5 or 6% two months ago. It is at 40.4%. 45.4% right 45.4 approve. 54.6. Don't. It's Carson Anderson, 97. Months. We talk about American Jewelry and Loan a lot here. Of course, you know that you can get a short-term loan without a credit check, and that's great. And, of course, you can purchase on-trend, high-quality jewelry for less. In fact, a lot less. But what you might not know is that every American Jewelry and Loan store has a huge selection of name-brand tools to complete just about any job. You know, we joked like talked about it last left. week with... With garage sales, like if you got tools, Avenue. you got something to sell. Arrived. Well, bring it over to American Jewelry and Loan. This is the place where contractors go to get big names for less. So why not you? Power to